Nebraska, the home of the Creighton Blue Jays, and today the home of FS1 College Hoops as the Seton Hall Pirates are in town to take on Creighton for the second time in a little over a week. In fact, just eight days ago, these two teams met for the first time this year. Martin Crumble pacing the Blue Jays with a huge day, 25 points and 11 rebounds last Saturday at Seton Hall, trying to lead the Jays to a win. But leading the Pirates back from a deficit, Miles Powell, the second leading scorer in the Big East, driving to the rim and then pushing it over the front of the rim. The winning margin for Seton Hall, five, as that win pushes the Pirates into the upper echelon of the Big East standings. Fourth right now, tied with St. John's coming into play today. You've got Butler Georgetown behind. Meanwhile, the Jays trying to Sean Alexander. Here's Bowen trying to get it going. And Bowen gets to the rim. See, that's where I think Creighton has really been lacking in other games. The pace was up and down the floor. That's how Creighton's built. And a slower-paced game ensues. It really favors Seton Hall. Miles Kale with a shot clock winding hits the three. He fires it at 39% from behind the arc. See, I think he's the one guy for Seton Hall. Good opportunity, just don't get it to go down. Mamu Kelashvili got the look from three and rattles it home. Last game out, Seton Hall scored 90 points against George. And then defense to offense, Miles Kale got the Pirates rolling early. Now in the scramble, Roden inside throws it away. Mintz, live ball turnover to the other end. Davion Mintz throwing it down. Mintz, first lead. To go, and Nelson needs some help. Kale trying to provide it. Will they continue it? They will, and he'll go to the line for an and one. Him just sizing up, making something happen. Good play there. That's the right play. Nelson, a little hesitation, but he still hits the three. See, it's just think about making deep three for Ballard. That'll fall. When we talk about Creighton's transition game, that spills over into early offense. Finds Kale. Got a good look from three for Kale. That's a, a great display of footwork from Kale. Four seconds. Backed out, Ballard. Deep three, gets in for a closer three, and he hits. Halftime is here, and Ballard gives the Jays the lead. A great poise. Crumples, hard roll, attract multiple defenders. We'll take a look at it. The hard rolls sucked in the defense, and good patience from Ballard to shot fake, one dribble, get your feet set, and bury it. Good execution from Creighton. And the Blue Jays take the stat sheet, but his impact has absolutely been felt. Kelashvili with a three to start the second half for Seton Hall. That knots it up at 33. With some hedges, they're not as worried as they could be against other teams about the three-point line. And so, pretty good game plan defensively by Greg McDermott. Here's McKnight driving down the lane with a bucket and a foul. Quincy McKnight. A burst of speed and an explosion to the rim. It's a heck of a pass from Mamu Kalashvili in and out of his hands and hitting a McKnight cutting to the basket. Hey! Oh, it's a late whistle. I Kelashvili, the three falls. The big man finding his range. That's his third from deep. He tore his ACL yep. for the third time. And so it took some time for him to get into a rhythm and a flow. And boy, he has really been playing great basketball the past month. McKnight doing work inside. You talked about Kevin Willard posting up different pirate ways to create offense. And I think some guards in the post have been a nice touch from Kevin Willard. McKnight's missed two at the line, though. And see Paul still down one as Ballant drives it inside the corner. With your top gun, not firing. Here we go. Got a good look, and he hits. That's the first real in-rhythm look he's had, maybe since early in that first half. Well, he he, he get out of the zone. <laughs> Let's see if it spooks him next time down the floor. Crumple liked that matchup. Couldn't get it to go as the ball pop, popped away. Al Zagorowski with 10 to shoot. The dish out to Alexander. And Alexander says, finally. Finally, it's a three.
help coming over by Mamu Kelashvili. And Zagorowski, that hand kind of bobbled the catch. Crumple got free with McKnight. He liked that matchup. Jays by three with the ball. Jumps the pass to Alexander. Back-to-back -back threes for Tyshawn Alexander. They have pulled themselves if they win. Kelashvili. Here's Powell with the open three. That'll roll home. What a good look for Miles Powell. It was 0 for 5 from the floor before he's hit those last two threes. Six to shoot. Extra pass. Alexander again. Three straight from three. Bounce to Enzi. Finds McKnight. He'll toe the line and hit a three. These two teams, the ability to handle double teams, whether it's trapping a ball screen or in the post, and how when you do, you're going to get open jump shots both ways. Alexander again, four straight from deep for Tyshawn Alexander. Welcome back, Mr. Alexander. Straight games for Tyshawn Alexander with a three. Powell, the inserts. Back and forth from in about 250 pounds. Alexander with the three, and he hits again. Tyshawn Alexander is on fire in Omaha. My Alexander all alone, and it pinballs out. Boy, what a look with one on the shot clock. Here's Kale driving it up, and Kale with the bucket. 2.45 to go. The lead is four. McKnight with the steal to the other end. McKnight cuts the lead in half. Good anticipation from Quincy McKnight. Back out to Mintz. Nine on the shot clock. Mintz. McKnight with the rip. The shovel to Kale. Here comes Kale to the other end. Jump stop and a blocking foul. Count the bucket. Well, it all team to shoot. Here he goes. One on one against Mintz. Step back three for Powell. Oh my! That's your stud closer. Out of it or taking advantage of some sort of mismatch. Here you go. Zegarowski got in the air. He was looking for a call. Nothing there. And there's a foul going to be called to send Seton Hall to the line. But if you're Kevin Willard, I mean, you've got to be absolutely thrilled with how your team closed out this game. Unbelievable win for Seton Hall to show some toughness and emerge victorious. Seton Hall, 81-75, the win. A big quad one win on the road for the Seton Hall Pirates.